What is up, YouTube? Well, this is the part two of the 1990 Craftsman 2 steering gear replacement. As you uh, remember, I left off with it still uh, in, in a work in progress, but uh, I've just had other things I had to do. So now I have some more time to, to, do, uh, to do this. So, without further ado, there she is, the 1990 Craftsman 2 with the Vanguard. Um, it's still in the same state it was in part one at the very end. Uh, what I have to do now, it's a pain. It's a real, real pain. But the little lever right here, this has to come out. There is a little C-clip right there that you can somewhat access from the back side of here through this little panel. Um, i got to take that off. And then, finally, this whole plate will come out. And then the four bolts that hold the steering gear in, those will come out. And this little linkage rod where it connects to the steering gear up underneath, that'll come off. Steering gear will come out. Um, however, I ran into a slight hindrance. When I say a hindrance, I mean that the steering gear shaft on this one and my replacement right here, um, they're different. The links are different. I measured them and this one's short by about two inches. Dang. I don't know how well you can see the clip from from your point of view. It's right here. And this is the hardest thing to do on these. You have to adjust that little bar or you can get it down or you can get to it and pop that clip. Make sure I don't lose the clip. the washer. Now with everything out of the way, I can finally take this whole plate out. The whole thing. Wire it out of the way. Ta-da! Okay, with a 9 16 wrench and a 9 16 socket, uh, an extension with a good ratchet, use the ratchet on the steering gear bolts, just use a gear wrench on the lower steering arm nut. I apologize for the mowing in the background, but anywho, I've got the nut loose. I'm going to slide out the way the actual steering gear. Now, let's remove the steering gear itself. And we're all set. Mm. Stuck too. An impact would be faster, but I'm old fashioned. I mean, really old fashioned. I like breaking the sweat, turning hand tools a little more relaxing. And it keeps my uh, keeps my hands in working shape. Woo. <clears throat> Bolts have been in there since 1990. One crappy, broken craftsman steering gear. And there they are. And in case you didn't believe me, disc, disc. An easy job turned harder just due to a few inches in length. 
So I have deduced that after measuring this one and this one, seeing where the bushing went, uh, went that I need to cut somewhere down in here. So I just figured three inches is a good all round number. So I'm gonna cut it right here, three inches. And I'll do the same thing on this one, three inches. And then I'm gonna butt weld this piece onto the new steering gear. And then I cut a little spacer or not a spacer, it's a, a sleeve, I mean. Cut me a, a, a pipe sleeve that fits perfectly over this. And then this will actually go over the weld, and I will weld it again, smooth it out, prime it, paint it, and it'll be just as good as new. This will also help give it a little extra strength for being welded. So, now I just gotta chop these up, weld them, Go from there. You always want to double check your cut when you do this kind of stuff. Because once you cut, you can't go back. And unfortunately, my chop saw blade is to say the least, a little worse for wear, so it kind of throws off the cut. Just a hair. But, oh well, here goes nothing. Too bad. It'll work. Old steering gear, chuck. Junk. And the next one. The good one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that'll be it. need. Steering shaft that I need. Steering gear that I need. Put them together. Bam. Oh, I have my steering gear assembly, I have my steering shaft assembly, and I have my little round pipe sleeve. I'm just going to sleeve it together and then join it up and weld it. I was going to butt weld this, but it's going to be way too difficult to hold it all in place and weld it without welding a clamp or something to it by accident. So this is going to be the next best way to do it. Part 
is so I have neutral position on the steering gear and then the steering wheel is even so it's not turned crooked and I've already welded over part of my neutral mark there it is there okay if you're wondering what I'm talking about neutral position this line right here is the neutral position it's right smack dab in the center in order for it to work look correct. I'm going to take this, slide it down in there, make sure this up top is turned and even. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. There's my, there's the center mark of the, of the pinion here. So I want the top where it'll be straight to be dead even. I've marked a line on this half of the steering gear. So it's flexing in my eye too. I just straight down yeah it lines up so lines up so we weld it Operation is success. So you can see, it is actually a pretty bang up job of welding it. It's actually some of the best welds I've ever done. And I uh, took the bench grinder to it, smoothed it all up. Going to uh, prime it and paint it now. Well, now everything's pretty much the same thing in reverse. Reverse order on everything. I put the steering gear back in, bolt it down, put the drag link on, put the shift plate back in it, uh, put the dash back on, all the little dumb bolts, stuff for the deck thing, little knobs, um, the hood. <laughs> Fun. Stick this old sucker down in here. Hold it back in.
these suckers come in handy. Now I gotta put these little bolts here, two of them, under the fender pan for the back side of that plate, and the other two go on the front side of that plate. Okay, now I got the shift plate back on. Start focusing on putting the rest of the dash back on. Put the shifter ball back on. Gonna need that. And then I gotta put the little console plate that goes right here. Put the little knob that goes onto this. This stinking thing is the hardest to remove I, thing I've ever seen in my entire life. tray back in, put all the wires back up, put the hood on, I'm done. Well guys, it's now officially a steering lawn tractor again. It no longer steers crazy, it steers normally. It does have a little play in it, but hey, what do you expect for a 1990? Sweet! Done. 